In today's video, we discuss why Konami made this product. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening video. In this video, we will be opening the new two player starter set, which many of you guys have seen already. This is such, it's an interesting product. Before we actually get into the discussion and the opening, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Hidden Arsenal Special Edition. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you think about this two-player starter set. Does it suck? Is it worthless? Is it actually useful in some ways? Let me know what you think. Today's video is sponsored by Whatnot. Whatnot is a live auction app where you can sell and buy items live as well as offline. I personally go live there pretty often and I will be going live there this Thursday at 5 p.m. opening Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon until we get the Blue Eyes White Dragon and we may even open up some original 2002 packs. If you guys want to check out Whatnot, you could simply click the link down below and you'll get $15 free credit for anything on Whatnot. So make sure to find my live streams by clicking the link down below, searching Ruxin34, and bookmarking my shows. I have two scheduled right now and I'll be scheduling more in the future. So if you want to be a part of the Legend of Blue Eyes stream on Thursday at 5 p.m. Central, or you want to follow the live stream for Phantom Nightmare next week, make sure to go check out the link down below. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. So Konami just recently released this two-player starter set, which if you don't know, basically seems to be two playable decks between two different people where, you know, you can just grab a friend and play with them. So let's see what it says on the back. Learn how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Learn, very important. Just like your favorite characters from the TV show. I like we're still referencing the TV show. There's not even an English TV show going on right now, like for a long time. What was the last one? Like, I don't know, a couple years ago? So pretty interesting. This two player set will get you started on your dueling adventures with a different 44 card deck for each player. 44 cards. Does that include like extra deck guys, like four of them or something? That'd be weird if it was like a 44 card main deck. Plus a 64 page comic book. 64 page comic book that teaches you how to play. Wow. 64 pages. Okay. The easy way. Oh, the easy way. Okay. Includes uh, one to 64 page teaching comic book plus two 44 card. It just said that. Okay. Uh, 88 cards total and eight ultra rare cards. So as you can see, we have a dark magician there. I don't even know what's in here. I didn't watch any videos of people opening this, but if you just look at all the pictures, I'm sure we could figure out what might be inside. So unlike a starter deck slash structure deck, it doesn't tell you the contents here. Like a lot of times it would just tell you everything in here. So it's actually somewhat interesting for me to open because I don't know exactly what it is. So let's get into this. As we open it, I'm going to talk about what I think about this product. This thing costs $20. So keep that in mind. It's uh, about twice as, it is twice as expensive as a normal structure deck. So yeah, I think they're normally 10 on regular structure decks. Is that right? Or did they bump them up to like a I feel like they might have done that, but this is you can get it 1999 right now on eBay So shout out to sassy auto by the way for sending me this Let's open this thing up and see what you can get So this thing was in a box that was pouring down rain on my porch So it's some this thing is somewhat uh, moist So uh, I think it's just the outside part So I think we've salvaged the actual decks, which is good Here's the 64 page uh, manual of learning how to play And we are not going to go through everything here But that's, that's very Duel Links-esque right there with some stuff there So we've got a bunch of stuff, how to do it Here's how you play the game look i may or may not know how to play the game we're not gonna you know debate that here right now but this thing's a little wet too i definitely should have gotten that they delivered on a sunday morning i mean come on i mean I, i'm busy i'm at church guys okay so we have two decks here let's see if there's any warping going on these definitely you can feel it it was a tiny little box and they deliver it you know i'm just uh, unfortunate, but I think the cards are fine, which is all that matters. So we have the two decks here. We have the Divine Arsenal. You get a Zeus in here. Okay, so I'm guessing this is an Xyz deck versus a Synchro deck, if I had to guess. Manadium Prime Art, also a decent card, but wow, a free Zeus. Not free, it's $20, but you get a Zeus. I mean, Zeus in a lot of prints is $20, so you basically made your money back right there. That's pretty cool. All right, well, we'll do Zeus last, because that's pretty good. Let's get this thing out of here. These are so cold. <laughs> I just got them off the front porch and wow, they are cold. It is definitely not 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 warm outside. Okay, let's get this thing open. The weather has been killing us recently. With the last release, we didn't get our stuff until a week late. You know, it's been pretty rough. So let's see what cards you actually get for the Synchro deck. You get Manadium Primar. I guess you get four Ultras per deck. That's what it seems like. 44 cards. So I'm guessing you get four extra deck Synchro cards. Rampaging Smash Tank Rhino Saber. I don't even know where that card's from. Coral Dragon, I think, is a pretty good card. And Stygian Sergeants. Okay, there's all our Ultras. So four Ultras, and then you get a deck worth. Back to the front, you got Manadium Fearless. I'm not gonna lie, these cards are freezing right now. Galaxy Cyclone, we have Supply Squad. It looks like they didn't get like warped or anything though, which is good. Uh, Phantom King Hydride, Liberty At Last, White Elephant's Gift, Power Frame, Doc Resonator. We have Quillbolt Hedgehog, uh, Card Trooper is a good, yeah, that's a good card. Mobius, there you go, Simo. That's very, some good Simo stuff. Mage Power! 
<laughs> yeah, we are. Th these are definitely learning how to play Mage Power. I love that. Magic Cylinder, a classic for me back in the day when I was learning how to play. Mask of the Accursed. Kunai with Chain. What is this? You think that was a reference? You think that was a reference, Konami? Well done. We have Dark Hole. Mask of Darkness. Fissure. Barrier Resonator. Manadium Fearless. Visa Starfrost. Obsessive Uva Loop. DD Crow. Wow, that was pretty good. DD Crow. One time passcode. Returning alive with card card D. Escape. There's some good cards in here. Stormy Mirror Force. Uh, backup Rider, Swords Revealing Light, and there's some big some big guys. That's what you like to see. A one tribute, Gilgarth, formerly Secret and Glass. Oh, jo <laughs> oh Java Green, why are you here? <laughs> why are you here, oh, Java Green? Okay, Ryu Ran, Launcher Spider. Didn't we have the bone that like you get to draw, Spirit of the Heart? So it's a bunch of vanillas at the end, which is pretty interesting. So uh, very simple deck. You know, there's a few cards in there that are like, you know, have effects and stuff, but there are some simple stuff going on, which I think, you know, as we're getting to the discussion part of this video, I mean, we're opening this, but I'm still going to talk about it. It's kind of the point of this thing. I saw a lot of complaining about this product and people were like, oh, this product sucks. You know, like, why do we have this thing? And I think that we overlook kind of the point of the deck like i know it's really is to learn how to play the game and there's a lot of people like if you're a kid these days and what's that's what we want we want kids joining Yu-Gi-Oh. you need something like this you need something where you get the cards and a lot of people learn by playing they don't learn necessarily by reading a 64 page manual like they also gave us or by watching so if they could start with something like this i cannot get this thing open that's one thing i really hate is this the plastic on these decks it is a pain to get open but I, I figured it out okay stop don't shuffle this deck why not the enclosed comic book walks you and a friend through a scripted duel oh don't change the order oh cool so that that's nice okay the learning part is very important we want people to learn we want people to understand and if you have too many complicated cards like i saw people like why don't they just give them like uh these really playable decks that they can actually use they're not going to give a learning situation playable decks it'd be too confusing i mean if you're a kid if you're an adult sure like it makes sense but even even adults like you throw pendulums in there i mean that's just confusing so i think that they went the right route i think by putting some powerful cards in here but also throwing in some just like very basic ideas divine arsenal uh a zeus we have castell number 20 and that goes to emerald that's another good card fierce tiger among who magical broker star drawing there we go the star drawing just like on tcg player guys uh night beam oh one of our investments we have a traffic control star changer guy guy magician fighting spirit we have burden of the mighty beast king barbaros swing of memories gyroid dark factory natal ceiling book of moon mst penguin magician of faith chiron dark magician girls in here randomly xc's crane crane there's a lot more Eldritch is in here. Wow. Okay. There's a lot more uh, effect monsters in here. Cyber Dragon. I feel like the Xyz deck is a million times better, if I had to guess. Gold on it. Cost out. Thousand Eyes. White Ninja. Draining Shield. No entry. Trade it. I mean, here are all the look more Ojamas. Dark, they just, it's like they took the really popular ones. Like, we'll put at least one Ojama in there. One Dark Magician. One Dark Magician girl. Like, we got to get those in there. Lajin. I feel like if we actually dueled here... This deck might be significantly better than this one, which might be something that they could work on in the future. But I feel like it's a really awesome product because, yeah, $20, sure. Could have this have been $10? Probably. Uh, it doesn't have a few nice cards in here like Zeus. Yeah, it does. It could have been a little cheaper. Maybe $15 would be a good compromise. But I think it's important to have products like this. And the exciting part for me about this is that introducing this kind of product means they might make it more in the future. Like, maybe they'll make sort of a starter version, then they'll do a more advanced version. Maybe they could have a starter deck. Uh, two starter decks that go together or that face each other that are actually playable because the problem with starter and structure decks is you usually need three of them it'd be really cool if they had setups of decks like this where you could buy it and it was playable right immediately and there was two of them not necessarily playable in the meta because there's no way they're going to give us a top tier meta deck for 20 bucks it's just not going to happen just for like the finance version of it i know they're not going to do it it would be cool though if they gave us two decks that were very evenly matched and they also had like a bunch of cool cards in them that you could just pull right out of the box and play that's what I think is cool about this. If you just want to grab it and play it with a friend, Yu-Gi-Oh! doesn't really have options for that at the moment. They have structure decks, which are really cool, but if you grab one structure deck versus another structure deck, it doesn't really work that well. Like, they're not really that playable on their own. You usually need another copy of the deck or whatever. It is doable, but I still feel like the idea they're going with here is, first of all, if you buy two structure decks, it's 20 bucks. This is also 20 bucks. You might argue, well, the structure deck, you're going to get better cards. True, but I think if they make this product and maybe make it even better, they can make it where the experience of you and a friend grabbing it for 20 bucks, splitting it 10 bucks each, and then just playing it together one night or multiple nights, 
could be really fun. And honestly, this experience could be more fun than trying to put together a meta deck for certain people. Like if you're a casual person like me, I've enjoyed putting together decks before, but then I never end up using them. The exciting thing about this is I could just grab this with a friend and we could play and there's no like build up of building the deck. Cause sometimes the building the deck is fun. Sometimes it's just tedious. And if you're just wanting to play Yu-Gi-Oh with a friend and you don't want to do it online, you want to do it physical cards. Cause let's be honest, physical cards are just more fun. You know, online's great and everything, but playing with physical cards is the reason we all love Yu-Gi-Oh. And even me who doesn't really play that much anymore. When I was a kid playing with the physical cards and having my deck and rocking it, walking around and then like, you ready to duel? That was the fun part. So just being able to like grab a friend, grab a box, throw down two decks, and look, I know these decks are not amazing. That honestly, for me, I know I'm a boomer, gives a little bit of charm. You know, you're playing with some cards that aren't that good. You're setting Spirit of Harp on certain turns. Like, very weird, you know, it's not current Yu-Gi-Oh, so a lot of people want more current Yu-Gi-Oh. So that's where I think they could add that more advanced version. Maybe they even have three tiers, like the sort of basic learn how to play decks. They could have more middle tier ones, then they could even have a high tier with like even stuff that could potentially be playable. So I wasn't actually gonna make a video about this, but I got this from Sassiato and I was like, you know what? I want to, see, first of all, I want to see it's what's inside. Second of all, I want to talk about how I feel about this deck. And I actually think it's a cool product. I think it's a good product. And I hope that people like it so that they continue to make it. Oftentimes a problem with products like this, or at least different products that aren't like booster packs, such as like Dual Devastator, which was a great uh, product. People didn't really buy that many because once you bought it, you were kind of good. Like you bought like three of them. You had the play set of all the hand traps and everything. You didn't really need to keep buying it. Same thing with this is like, it's like sort of a one-time purchase, but if it's so good that people are like, oh, I love when they come out with the starter sets. I love the starter set formats. They're so much fun. Like when they come out with a new one, I buy it kind of like drafting boxes and stuff like that and Magic the Gathering, which I would love if Yu-Gi-Oh would do. That'd be super fun. If they can make it where this is a thing that people look forward to, like a new release and they come and buy all like every single time they buy it and they play it and they save them up and you know, battle, they switch them up and they play different decks or different times. Like the two player starter set first edition. And then like the next one that comes out we could like mix the four decks and you have four different matchups and all the this different stuff. I think there's a lot of potential there for people that are casual Yu-Gi-Oh players, then even for even high-end people, and not just casual, but other people that are just interested in playing like different matchups, because sometimes playing the meta can get stale, because like, you know, you're playing the same thing over and over. The nice part about this is, I guarantee no one has been playing uh, the Stygian Sergeant's deck versus Digusto Emerald, which I know is not their top card, but these two decks, have never faced each other. Like this, <laughs> this concoction of two decks, that's completely new, which is fun and exciting. So overall, I think this is honestly an exciting product for me. I don't know if it's gonna sell super well. I don't know if people are excited about it. From what I've seen, a lot of people are negative about it. But if you are a sort of a casual Yu-Gi-Oh player and you don't really like messing around with all that extra stuff that comes with Yu-Gi-Oh, you don't have time for it. You like watching openings. You like to duel on occasion online or something, but you don't have time to put together a deck, buy all the, the cards. This is a great option. This is something you can do with your friends. And I think it's pretty cool. So let me know down below, do you agree with me? And what do you think they should do to make these better in the future? Because obviously it's not perfect products. The first time it's come out, besides like pricing, because like, yeah, pricing, whatever. Like it can always be better. It can always be worse. Let's hear about what you think in the decks or like the deck structure would make this an even more exciting product for you. Appreciate you guys watching. If you want to see more discussion videos, opening videos, and even more, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Shout out to Tomfo Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Brad, KK Beats, and Anatai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.